points, the protocol for the app economy. So, hello Fred, I hello. think you have here a sample to show us how to purchase gems in a game using app coins, is that right? Yes, I have a custom build of Aptoid with our proof of concept SDK integrated, app coins proof of concept. As you can see now, we have 145 app coins in our balance and we will try to buy some gems in this wonderful game Bombastic. I will now try to buy 50 gems for apparently 5 app coins, that's what it costs. I will touch the buy button, transaction is working. What's happening now? The transaction is being created, signed and then we use Etherscan to send it to the blockchain. How long does it take uh, for a transaction to be confirmed? Usually around 30 seconds, it's what I've been seeing, but the average block generation time is 15 seconds. Oh, it's done. Great. You yep. got the 50 gems. Exactly. Right? We were lucky, apparently. Okay. So, uh, what have we done here? We were creating transactions, sending transactions. Can you summarize a little bit more what happened? Yes. Basically, we created an ER20 transfer call to a contract. Uh, basically, we are building the transaction, signing the transaction, and then sending to Etherscan the signed transaction so they can add it to the blockchain. Okay. And that's basically it. Is there any analogy between this and other apps that you know? Perhaps, I don't know, my Ether wallet? Well, I, don't, I cannot assure you how they do it, but I believe they use the same strategy. They, they sign the transactions and they send the, the signed transactions to the network, because otherwise it would be a security fault. So what are the potential attack vectors that we have here? Well, actually there shouldn't be any new attack vector specific to this method as we are basically signing the transaction and sending it to the blockchain. Although denial of service is still possible, as in every other transaction, which would mean that our transaction would not be able to reach the blockchain. Anyways, the app coins would be safe because as far as the blockchain is concerned, there was no transaction executed. So that's the definition of an denial of service. You will not have a service, but your app coins will still be safe in your wallets. So last question about scalability and limitations. Did you identify some? Right now, scalability, our scalability issues are the blockchain scalability issues. The signing, creation and signing of transactions cost is negligible. So we are only dependent on the confirmation time of the blockchain. That's why in the next POC we plan to, to have a video with MicroRaiden technology, which aims to, or promises at least, to have instant payments, or almost instant payments. Regarding the API that we are using, we are dependent on a third party, which is now Etherscan, but we, have our, we can have our own endpoints, so that's feasible as well. Okay, thank you.